Hello, I'm Marvin, and today I'm going to be discussing how to use packaged auto, packaged EX crafting in an applied energistic system, as well as automating interfaces from extended crafting with uh, the extended crafting tables as well. Uh, since these things are, I haven't found a good demo online. I, I sometimes see it inside other videos, but no dedicated, this is how these work. So, I'm going to start, this one's already set up with the automated interface, automation interface. And to set this up, you need to have the items in your inventory to configure the table and this using its GUI. Um, you have to place the automation interface on top of the table because that's how it works. Um, over here, I'm going to grab some items out of here real quick. We need some glass and some seared bricks for the example I'm doing. We come over here and set the recipe in the table by using the items. This will actually create a real item when it's done. To set the recipe for the interface, it's just two items for this particular recipe, but we need 16 and nine there we go so we're going to come over here to the pattern actually I already had it set up but we're going to do it again uh, you have to do the recipe for the seared tank you hit this button that way and you have to be in processing pattern mode for this to work it'll place the crafted item here and of course it'll try to put some of the items into here but it's wrong so you do not clear all of them out or else it'll I was wrong. I've had it clear that out on me before. All right, 16 of those, nine of those, you set your pattern. You take your pattern, you put it into a full block ME interface on a side of the automation interface. So we can come in here now, everything's ready for it to go. Uh, we can set the recipe It'll see the recipe and tell it to save it. You can tell what when it has one saved because it'll, you can see one spinning just inside there. That that's happens when you hit the save recipe. But first, we're going to configure this. Now, auto insert, I believe, is um, when it pulls items out of an attached inventory. In this case, it'll be the ME interface when it receives the items. For crafting. In this case I have it on the west side of the block. Auto extract means when it takes the crafting item it'll push it back out into that interface and again I want that to go into it when it's done. Uh, auto eject, I think that one it does when you give it something it doesn't like. It pushes it back. So that has now configured this to automatically receive and uh, take out the items to that interface. So we're going to save the recipe. We now have two of them in the ME system configured. It, it actually created the item too when, from the items that were in there. I'm going to take this one out because I want to not confuse the ME system in the demo. Over here, we're going back over here. Here's that seared tank that it created from our template that we placed in the grid. And we can ask for another one. And if we wait just a moment, here it is. So that is how you configure the interface. It also requires power, so you have to run a power line to the uh, to the uh, inter automation interface. It does not automatically get power from the ME system, which is different from what the packaged auto system does. For that, we need to use its recipe encoder. Now you get 20 recipes per pair of recipe holders and it has many different modes for processing like you can just have a processing one where it'll just take all these items and you can have this set up over like a chest or some other machine that needs lots of items it doesn't necessarily have to be these package crafters of which there's one for each of the different types of tables so if you need to say send stuff to a draconic in, uh, infusion system you could send that to a chest and then pipe to the various uh, 
infusion parts. Or you can have ordered, which means whatever the order they're in here, and it will send them out in that particular sequence, which can be important. Again, with the draconic one, I put the item I want to go into the center of that process first, and then the rest of the items can go out to the various uh, holders. Um, the advanced recipe, this one is the 5x5 five five grid for the advanced recipe table. In that case, we could go back to the seared tank and hit the button. Now, for ore dictionary things, it does not use the ore dictionary. The, so it actually looks for this specific version of glass. So I frequently have to go through and have a copy of the what I'm actually using in my ME system to click over it to set it to be what I, the version I need. It can also be an elite table, um, an ultimate table, whatever the ender table is, a combination. I'm not sure what that one is either. But for our example, we're going to go back to the elite table and grab the fusion controller. And again, it has the hardened signal M glass is what it picked from the order of, from when I hit the plus button. But I really want to use hardened glass. So you click through those things, and you can hit save, and then that'll put those recipes into the package holder. Now I'll grab a, an empty one again, put it in there, and hit load, and this one clears out the grid. I frequently will put one in, hit the load button to make sure it's the one I want, because I have hit the save button on top of both of them when it had another set of, like if I put this guy back in, hit load, and then I put this one in and hit, uh, nope, I did that wrong. I wanted to do this. Load you to clear it out. Put you in there and accidentally hit save. Now this one doesn't have anything in it. So now I've ruined my pair. But I can just put the other one back in, hit load, put this one back in, hit save, and now I've got the pair again. So that that's a little safety tip on... So never put both of them in there at right away and hit a button because it could have been from the wrong set. Now, you need two of them, one for the packager and one for the unpackager. Technically, the packager can be anywhere on your network you want it to be. It doesn't have to be anywhere near the unpackager. It just has to know the recipe. So it'll receive the items from the ME system and create those these packages that you see here, like these. And then the unpackager's job is to recognize those packages and extract those items to put into the elite package crafter or whichever crafter. Now all three of these need power. These two need ME channels. This one just gets ME, not power from the ME network without taking a channel. Uh, the unpackager needs to be touching the elite package crafter, I think. I usually put them on top just because it looks nice, and I've had troubles on the other sides. I need to stop. All right. So now the system knows how to make that item. I can come back over here and find it in here. Oh, there it is. And I can tell it to make it. And it'll automatically put it back into the system as soon as it's done making it. It's faster than the... Um, automation interface. And again, I can have up to 20 re different recipes for the Elite Package Crafter in that in this one package holder. So I can, instead of having 20 of these, I can have just one set of this. And that's as easy as that really is. Uh, it, it, it doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. And I've got nighttime. So I think that's a good spot time to stop this video. Thank you. Bye.